Hi, I'm Third Sergeant Mitran. Hi, I'm Emmy Wan Hanson. We are from 7 ELG. And we're part of the EOR crew. So as a frontline crew, I'm trained in both airframe inspections and weapon loadings on the F-15 SG. This enabled me with the knowledge so that I can thoroughly inspect the aircraft and look out for any abnormalities. Uh, so as a EOR crew, I am the last line of defense to perform all the final inspections on the aircraft. I'm also the supervisor that ensures the aircraft is uh, safe and airworthy for the air crew to take for their mission. Things that I will look out for will be after the aircraft has started up and has taxied to the point where we do our EOR checks, many things might have changed. And so we have to look out for these safety points, like surfaces and any other important areas in the aircraft. I am selected as a EOR crew because I possess the knowledge of both the airframe and the weapon systems of the f 15 sg This uh, enables me as a supervisor to see the whole picture of what's happening at the EOR checkpoint and to ensure that my team and I are performing our role safely. So before the EOR team proceeds to the EOR checkpoint, the Team IC will conduct a briefing on the uh, number of jets planned for the day, the type of configuration, and what to take note of with regarding to the configurations. After that, we will proceed to book out all our tools and then proceed to the EOR checkpoint. So before the aircraft arrive at the EOR checkpoint, I will also re-emphasize all the safety pointers to my team to ensure that everything is safe. Our job is important because we are the last line of defense and the pilot lives are in our hands. We have to stay focused and ensure that every aspect of the jet is safe and in good condition to fly. Even the slightest of discrepancies need to be spotted as the repercussions can be fatal. The main challenge that we face as the EOR crew will be weather as the EOR point is in the outdoor. The another challenge that we have is communication as is when the engine is started up, it's extremely loud and we have to use hand signals to help one another understand. To be an EOR crew, we need to be meticulous in our checking and sharp-eyed to ensure that nothing gets past us. We also have to be a good team player and ensure that we all work as one so that we can achieve better. In addition, we also need to be well-versed with our contingency plans and be prepared for any emergency situations at our EOR points.